he goes to 2200 stays here for quite a while and then he gaps up again gets to 2300 a little bit of a dip and then he has this big gap in 2016. now 2016 hmm levy is born in 1995 starting to look familiar again levy has this big gap at the age of 20 or 21 which is not surprising because again for most of these people it's 20 to 21 where you have your big gaps to be here um uh rating rating progress give me a second let me change the scene yeah so i'm going to talk a little bit about this about the various times when i hit the wall uh, and i'm actually gonna i'll show like some i think maybe i'll do a couple of exceptions as well so okay so let's scroll down so you're gonna see let me stop the music as well so yeah we're gonna, we're gonna take a brief look at this um okay i just unclick right and i unclick there we go so here's my rating i want to see all years not five years all years and i close close there we go okay so let's take a look at all years for my for my rating so this uh i mean of course this is not you know they should show older than 2003 but they don't so um so so we'll start with 2003 so what you'll see is right here i have this big jump actually this big jump from 2003 to 2005 where i go from uh, where i go from about 2560 to 2657. so this was a period where i had a big jump um 2005 now what you'll see here is actually my rating goes nowhere so once i hit here it goes up five points into october and then i have a big tank in january of 2006. so i go i lose about like 20 points i go from 2662 to 2644 I come back up here I I, gain, I regain 20 points and then boom right off the cliff in July back to 2632 and um and then it goes back up uh into 2007 but this is the thing it doesn't show all the months so you'll see my rating went from here in 2006 2664 down 2632 in July and that's actually when I went to college so in 2000 and so 2005 I had that big jump up here and then I stalled for about a year and a half um I saw into that like end of 2004 2005 into 2006 and in, in July or I think it was August of 2006 I went to college so you'll see here this is October and this is when I played uh, I think I played maybe one small tournament here to get this rating back up and then I then I also had a very big event um which would have been the Thanksgiving tournament in November which is rate, rated for January 2007 where I went back up to 2651 and gained about 20 points so I had this wall right here this wall I mean I know it doesn't it, it whenever I click on the chart it just messes up so you guys you know I'll just leave it as is but I had that gap up and then I stalled out I had that year and a half or so where I stalled out and I dropped and Hans is actually in the exact same situation right now where he gapped up to 2660 and now he's come back down to like 2630 2640 and he he's really stalled out for the last I want to say six to seven months um so this was a big period of time when I had the big big decline stop it I don't want to see any of this come on um so I so I had this big decline where I stalled for about a year and a half and then once I came back after I dropped out of college my rating went up here I think this was around the time I played in um I think I played uh was this one I went Gibraltar maybe it came back down and then you'll see that in 2000 2008 it just goes straight up it just goes up 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 I, I it goes up from about 2650 all the way up to 2704 now again as you see this was 2005 April 2005 to October 2007 so it was actually over two years it was like it was about two and it was two two and a half years where my rating went nowhere I just got completely stalled out um and so I got completely stalled out and then I had this big jump up I had the big jump up and uh, I went to 2704 so everybody hits the wall at some point um everybody hits the wall at some point but that's why you have to keep going when you're like 17 18 it's much easier because now because most people don't don't at some point have that uh continued growth and let me pull up Daniel because I think Daniel's a good example for that um where I mean of course he hasn't played anywhere near as much but you'll see that Daniel had something similar where if I pull up Daniel rating progress chart I'll just I'll do all years uh, cross this out cross this out um now Dan is not too different has this big big spurt right he has this big spurt up then he then he has some slow slow growth up to 2472 and then he then 2013 it looks like it goes parabolic 2500 uh up into up to about 2640 and then he goes to he did he go to college or was it in 2014 somewhere around here he went to college at any rate and he just stalls out completely doesn't improve and now he's back and he's trying to play a little bit more obviously it's not reflected here in the chart completely but you'll see that he just stalls out and there's no growth to be had because Dan is simply too old in a way
Um, now, he could probably grind and maybe get back to 2640, 2650, but he's not going to get back to 27. He's got, he has no chance, realistically, of getting to 2700. Um, pull, pull up, uh, pull up Ali Reza. Ali Reza's chart is absurd. But again, you see this thing, he hits this wall. Now, Magnus and Ali Reza are different because they've sort of gone up nonstop. But actually, one person who improved a little, there are a couple other examples that I'm going to pull up. Um, one second, let me pull up Levon and, um, and Sam. I think Levon is probably, Levon and Sam are two of the late bloomers. I, I guess if you could, if you could call it that, where if I pull up all yours, uh, cross this out, cross this out. If we look at Levon, okay, so Levon, Levon is, um, Levon is, 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 is so old that they, that Fide doesn't have it showing before 2003, which of course is absurd. But anyway, look at Levon. It's actually, no, Levon, it doesn't show though. It doesn't show. I need to see Levon's w window for like 2000, 2003. It doesn't show. It only shows when he gapped up. Le there was a period before 2003, like 2000 to 2003, where Levon's rating was just sitting in the 2600s. Um, that's very annoying that this graph, it doesn't show it here because Levon, Le Levon was not, um, Levon did not, did, Levon was sitting in this like 2600 range for quite a while prior to that. So it's very annoying that um, they don't show it. So let me show Shanklin then. Let me, let me pull up Shanklin. Um, ratings let's go back um shankland now shankland is actually one of the biggest outliers you'll ever see um i don't know who john shankland is he's 1657 uh but we'll pull up we'll pull up sam shankland let's pull this up um now sam i think is a, is a much better example let's click all years cross this out cross this out sam same thing big gap up here big gap up and he get, but the thing is for Sam, it's different because 2007, his rating is 2164. Now, Sam is born in 1991. So at the age of 16 years old, Sam's rating was 2164. So Sam is like a huge outlier because 2164 at 16, I'd be like, okay, well, yeah, if you do really well, maybe you can get to IM. Maybe you can get to IM. Maybe like strong IM. But Sam obviously works really, really hard. He has a big gap up here. Now, it's worth noting again, 16, 17 years old. Sorry, yeah, 16, 17 years old. He has a big gap up here to 2446 and then it kind of he kind of just slowly creeps up slowly but surely even as even as he's getting into his 20s just like very quietly gets stuck here in the 25 25 80 range creeps up again why does it keep doing that it's really annoying it comes down small improvement comes back down and then then he has a big gap right here so he doesn't really a big improvement like even here it's just slow but steady gaining like 20 30 points up to 2671 and then he has a big gap up into the 27 20s and he's kind of peeled off a little bit why does it keep doing this it's so annoying come on um but again you see like his, his chart is very unusual because he was already in his 20s when he has this like slow 20 30 points gain, gaining um gaining rating so he's like a big outlier big, big outlier i should say am i mad i am mad because i'm trying to click here and it shows the stupid other ratings it's very annoying it's very annoying a feeding um cardiac should be good yeah but i'm trying to think of players who have oh you know who a great example is is ray robson uh, Ray Robson is a great example, actually, of stalling out, too. And it's a little bit higher where he stalls out, but he's a very, very good example. Pull up Ray Robson. Because he has a great chart, and then it just flatlines. So let's look at Ray here. This is all yours. Starts here. All good. Big gaps. Big gaps. And it, Ray was born in 94. So in 1990, so in 2005, he was 2000. So 11 years old, 2000 rated. Okay? Obviously, big, big gaps. Big, big gaps. Big, big gaps. Up to up to 2567 in 2009 uh which means he was born 94 so he's uh uh what's that he's 15 right 15 years old very 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 good has a little bit of dip ha climbs all the way up here to 2615 keeps keeps you know a little bit of a stall but he gets up to like this 2674 rating in 2015. now somewhere around here is when ray uh ray goes to college and he decides to to focus on college and he's 2674 here in 2015 as you can see a very brief period when he, he touches 2680 but he has not improved since i mean 2682 and 2018 dips 2681 again he was 2674 in 2015 and he's gone up about like five points since then five points in the last 78 years and ray in 2015 was 19 years old the sky is the limit for him and now i think he's he's what he's 20 um i can't do math he is now Wait, is he almost 30? Ray is 28 years old and the big growth is gone. He maybe can he, he can probably get over 2700 if he if he works hard, but that, but but if you were to ask me in 2015 at 2674, I would have said 2750, maybe even higher was possible, but last 7 years just literally no growth whatsoever. And um and now he's 28 years old 
and probably no no chance no chance many almost peaks around 20 yeah that's because generally at that age you have to make a decision do you go to school do you focus on chess it's very difficult to to figure out what you're doing um uh yeah I can find Levon's graph from 2004 yeah but see I want Levon's graph from like 1999 yeah see I don't want Levon's graph in 2003 I need his graph um let me open chess base maybe Ch chess base probably has it since I have mega database let me see if I can find it in chess base basically looking at Levon's chart he has a gap up to 2560 in 2000 and then he dips down to 2520 in 2001 and then he goes up to 2600 in 2003 into four and then he is the big jump all the way up uh going forward so from 2000 to 2004 his um his, his rating basically stalls out he gets up to 2560 goes down to 2520 then he goes up to 2600 stalls a touch and then boom straight up to uh straight straight up to 2700 plus uh can windows shift s works I was I was trying to do control print screen but anyway um but yeah so basically his rating went up then it stalled and then for a couple of years it flatlined he just didn't have the growth and then he just went out of his mind up to 2700 plus and the rest of course is obviously history um show Shaq well I'm trying to find examples of people who didn't make it kind of as opposed to people who did make it um just to show like how important the window is and actually even Hans I think Hans is a good example if I if I pull up Hans or actually no let me show Jeffrey where is Jeffrey Zion Jeffrey Jeffrey um there uh wait there are a lot of there are a lot of Zhangs okay here we go Jeffrey rating chart projection let's go all years cross out cross out all years there we go okay so I don't want this I don't want that okay so Jeffrey starts at a much lower level which is pretty funny actually starts at 1800 okay so he gets to what 20 so in 2013 he's born in what 2000 so 13 years old Jeffrey is around 2400 obviously pretty standard I think you can see generally like it's like 11 12 13 you want to be 2400 ish roughly um so of course he he keeps just going up very nicely by the way and what is his peak 2017 he gets to 2674 uh in 2017 at the age of 17 has a little bit of a dip 2018 rating is all the way down to 2640 now it comes back up it's sort of sitting here it breaks 2700 in 2019 and basically a little bit of flat line since then so this is why for Jeffrey it's a very critical point because again when you look at this rating 2674 very similar actually to Ray's chart obviously he hasn't stalled uh, for like eight years away Ray did but very similar to where he's 19 20 years old you know around around this 2700 level and he's either going to like break through or not break through and um and that's the thing that's why this 19 20 year old level or age is really 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 critical for the players who are trying to become the absolute best in the world yeah I I mean I can look up I can look up Ali Rez I can look up many other people but I'm basically giving the point that this is why chess is so hard because there is this period around 19 20 21 where if you don't break through you just stall out forever um look at Bacro Bacro would be an example look at Tari Tari is I mean I feel like Tari got pretty close too but you know what a good example would be a good example would be Jan Ludwig Hammer actually speaking speaking of other players um who are who are in the news uh where is John Ludwig so this would be a good example because also Hammers I think is going to be the exact same thing or if I cross this out let's take a look at Hammer okay obviously it starts uh 2003 uh when was Hammer born 1990 so at 13 years old he starts at 1983 again by 2005 he's born in 1990 so by 15 years old rating again around 2300 and going up very standard like every every other chart we've looked at and you look at this goes down okay comes up and what is he so he has this huge gap 2007 to 2010 so those three years um so 17 to 20 right 17 to 20 years old he gets up to 26 27 goes up pretty normal stays here has one big spurt up to 2705 in 2016 and again completely topping so he gets here in 2016 and now it just goes goes downhill and flat lines again so this is a little bit different because 2016 he was 26 years old as opposed to being 20 so he like works really hard gets up and now it's just a complete flat line again so it's a little bit different in the age but still very similar very very similar trajectory um for for the rating he went to school with Magnesi. Yes, he did. I guess Hammer's 30. Wait, Hammer's 32? That's actually kind of crazy. I could have sworn that I, I would have thought that Hammer's like 27. Wait, Hammer's only two years. He's only two years younger than I am. That actually doesn't make any sense at all to me. Um, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. 
Bacro is Bacro is one of the most talented players of all time, but I can show his rating too. Um, okay, back rot. There we go. Etienne. There we go. Pull it up. Rating. Of course, he's been around forever too, so it probably is not going to show accurately. Oh no, it does. It does actually, kind of. So 2003. So he's 1983. So. So he's 20 years old in 2003. By the way, what a picture. What a picture of Etienne. Does, it doesn't look like the same guy to me. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like the same dude at all. Yeah, he looks like a very young, like, like very good looking French guy. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny. Um, Pretty funny. I, I guess, yeah, 20 years, a lot changes, right? A lot changes in 20 years. A lot changes in 20 years. <laughs> uh father time undefeated as always yeah anyway okay so so 20 years old 2654 now keep in mind in the early 2000s much different much different 2660 was i think maybe not top 25 but around there at the time um so anyway goes down okay but he, he has this big jump at 20 so by 2005 he's 2731 and if i had to guess in 2005 2731 was probably top 10 is my guess um but then 2731 and then what a dip just goes right off the cliff back down to 2700 another dip down to 2691 gets back up to 2728 and like so many stocks that we see in the in the world today makes another push back 2728 then then dips um and yeah so this is like you know he, he gets here up down up down 2749 in 2013 and then tries to make one more push here it's it's a decent chart mind you it's not a terrible chart obviously but again it's like that this is why chess is this is why you need to have this happen when you're younger because when you go down you can bounce back and you, if you're younger bouncing back is easier and the rating keeps going up um or you have more chance for the rating to like gap gap and break out completely um if, if you're if you're younger but still i mean he, he makes it this is just a triple top right here and you just short him at 2749 and the rest is kind of history but yeah gotta actually you know who has a weird chart it's gotta because gotta also i think in 2013 had a big breakout to where he got to like 2762 and then it went right back down as well but it is what it is um in terms of these ratings they, they are they are what they are um let's see is there anyone else you want me to look at yeah his, his chart looks crazy because of the because of the gaps but it's 100 elo it's not insane oh Wei Yi is actually yeah Wei Yi is a great example Wei Yi and Laquang I mean Laquang also I don't want to rag on the school thing but if we look at Laquang Laquang, Laquang Liam is um Laquang Liam is a great example of why you should not go to school here we go let's pull up the chart cross this cross this okay let's take a look this is all year so Laquang 2200 at 1991 so 2200 at the age of uh of 12. okay big gaps here big big gaps by 2006 by the time he's 15 years old 25 19 again everyone generally within some range around here except for Shankland who was 21 62 at 16 years old um but okay he, he gaps great great progression by the way 26 89 in 2010 it was 91 right so by the age of 19 he's 2700 amazing chart right I mean just like up 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 no no walls just looks like he's climbing has a slight dip here in 2011 gets back to 27 15 and then I think somewhere around this time 2011 right 1991 2011 hmm that feels like the magic age of 20 years old again and Laquang I I don't know if he went to school right in 2011 or not but you'll notice again this is the peak and you see he tries but generally just very much flatlining he's still 2700 but no improvement since then Ten, 11 years later he's basically the same rating that he was in 2011 so that's the thing a lot of these charts look very very similar because generally it's around 2021 um my chart I showed it earlier but it's it's very similar when you look at players who didn't break through it's very very similar and for the last one that I'm going to take a look at let's uh, go back to ratings and I'll show Wei Yi uh oh show Levy very funny you guys very funny actually I could show Levy because there is something to be said that it's very similar albeit at a much lower level of peaking very similar um so I could actually show that not 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 to Rose Levy but just as an example even at a lower level of the same thing happening um so if we look at Wei Yi okay Wei Yi obviously one of the super talents has one of the best charts you'll ever see uh, in the world of investing he starts at 2009 he's what 1999 so 10 years old Wei Yi is is 2138 okay 2009 so he's born in 99 so let's see by 2011 just oh man this is just like is this is this a good chart or what look at this chart just up 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 
um and at a much younger age too so just keep so he's 2604 by the time he's 14 years old I mean this is ridiculous 1999 and he's 2600 at 14 years old that's I mean really really good just straight up um again no real wall just small small progression keeps going up by 2015 by the age of 15 years old he's 2700 and he peaks at the age at, at 2737 in 2015 at the age of 16. 2737 at 16 you're like okay this dude he's going to be the next magnus headed headed for the moon but for whatever reason he kind of just doesn't break through he goes down a little bit keeps the rating a little bit up but he sort of hits this wall and he peaks at 2750 in 2017 and now the rest as they say is history and ironically enough 2017 that would make him what 18 years old which is a little bit younger for peaking but kind of similar kind of similar where he peaks in this range 18 19 20 and now he's just flatlined he's still a very strong player but probably no chance of him getting to like 2800 or like those 2850 2900 mythical numbers that you would that you see Magnus or potentially Ali Reza getting to um uh do Wesley so there's no s curve you mean what do you mean s like yeah up and up yeah not not really no um so show oh I'll show Levy just to show you guys an example uh, again this is not to roast Levy so don't think I, I'm trying to roast him or anything um but if I oh there are a lot of raw holy wait where where oh there he is there Jesus there they're like so many Rosmans um anyway let's 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 go to Levy's uh rating rating chart let's do all years uh cross this out so Levy okay what is he he's 21 2011 he's born in what 95 so 16 years old he's 2000 so already if we look at Levy you know that unless he's a remarkable specimen like Sam Shanklin like one of these really big outliers odds of being like a 2700 GM or stuff like that not realistic because Sam was like the only outlier where at 16 years old he was like 2100 nobody else was 2100 at 16. so but nonetheless it's not really the purpose of showing this so he he, he goes to 2200 stays here for quite a while and then he gaps up again gets to 2300 a little bit of a dip and then he has this big gap in 2016. now 2016 hmm Levy is born in 1995 starting to look familiar again Levy has this big gap at the age of 20 or 21 which is not surprising because again for most of these people it's 20 to 21 where you have your big gap so he keeps going up he breaches this peak in December of 2016 and I believe that at around this time Levy of course goes to college and as you see he stalls here has plays one tournament doesn't play inactive another bad tournament stalls has a little bit of a return in 2018 getting back to um to 24 20 and that's the peak and the rest is downhill um and that's the thing again same exact thing like he has this peak around 19 20 years old and then he he has this one last spurt in 2018 which I think was when he played Vegas if I remember correctly uh but yeah it just doesn't happen um it doesn't matter whether this is 2700 or 2400 the exact same thing happens here exact same thing you have you have a you have this big gap around 1920 where you reach this peak this really critical period and either you break out completely and you go to the moon or or basically you you sort of stall out there um so yeah that's that's the thing like it's just the exact same thing you see for everybody Vichy had Vichy had a um Vichy had a peak at 40 yes but Vichy's peak was much higher Vichy was always near his peak he was within like 20 30 points of his peak almost for his entire career I think so th that's the thing it, it's it depends on what your peak is um thanks for the depression oh I'm not trying to depress you guys I'm just showing you that generally the charts start to look very familiar in terms of breakouts and where where the stall out or, or where like you just stop improving oh yeah show Ben I'll show Ben fine because a lot of people don't realize just how good Ben was everyone thinks Ben just like magically became a GM later on in life he did not magically become a GM later in life he was a boss okay Benjamin Feingold okay rating progress all years okay let's cross this out okay so Benjamin Feingold was born in 1969 very nice year to be born in um his rating in 2003 so let me let me do some math so that would be four right so that means he was 34 years old so Ben was Ben was a 25 40 at 34 but again since this isn't going to work I'm going to open chess base Ben again another person who breaks the chart because he was already a very good player before 2003 let me uh let me just search mega again um Feingold B and by the way the reason I'm not going to do a screen capture chess base you guys because then I might actually leak something so that's why unfortunately I can't can't like show it on the screen okay fine gold B give me a second um yeah breaks the chart oh come on you guys I, I'm not saying that stop being weird um one second why is it not showing games yet um yeah 
I'm 20, I just started, I'm 1200, could I be a GM? Pretty unlikely. You could probably, I think your target should be maybe about expert level to master level. That's where you should be. Um. So, yeah. Already already leaked by the reflections on my face, exactly, yeah. Um. Why is it not just pulling up games? Come on, Mega, stop, stop, stop messing with me. One second. Did I do the search wrong? Maybe I did the search wrong. Why is it not showing any games? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Huh? I must have done the search wrong. Wait. Hard disk. White. Fine gold. B. Yeah. Okay. His name is Fine Gold. Huh? Why is it not showing? Wait. Let me let me do one thing. Fine gold. B. One second. I don't know why chest. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it works. Okay, so yeah, it's so a B fine gold. Um, yeah, Elo profile. Okay, so Benjamin's rating in 1985 was about 2250. So he's born at 69. So 85 puts him about 16 years old. 2250. Again, very very good starting point. Um, big gap up from 16 to 19. By 1989, his rating is 2400. 1990, he goes down a little bit. So 21 years old, he goes from about 2370 to 2350, and then. From the time 1990 to 1992, he goes from 236050 to 2490. Um, and then he stays there for a couple of years and he gaps up to 2550. So in 2002, his rating is 2550. So again, this is the point. Ben was already like 2550 player and he became a GM, I think, in 2014 or 2015. Where's the graphics chest base? I can't do a screenshot or save it for whatever reason, um, but it is what it is. So when you look at Ben, it, what I was saying is, so in 19, 1984, his rating was uh, his rating was about 2250. So from 1984, which was about 15 years old, to 1986, 15 to 17, he goes up to 2370, slight dip, and then he goes straight up, straight up to like 2550 um, in the following like four to five years, I think it was. I, I don't I don't have the exact graph because it doesn't it doesn't show as well in chess space. But you see, his rating was already really really high. His rating his ceiling was extremely high, and that's already 50 points over the GM level at that point. Which is why when people say like Ben, oh yeah, he improved later, became a GM. The dude was like 25 50 when he was in his mid 30s. Like it was it's not some some like some random guy who just improved by 100 points. A uh, show I'm not going to show because if I screen capture chess space, I'll leak something probably. So yeah, so that's that's kind of the thing. Um, is that Benjamin was like his peak was really really good, really good for becoming a GM. I mean, like this thing, twenty five sixty and two, th and he became a GM in I believe two thousand nine. And then of course once he got the title, his rating went off the cliff because already that was the whole motivation, that was the goal of what he was looking for. Um, why didn't he get the GM title? I think he just didn't play the norm tournaments mainly. He was just playing the the open tournaments to do that. Show our boy Benjamin Bach. Benjamin's gonna have an unfortunate chart that looks like a lot of charts we've looked at, but I'll show it anyway. So Bach. Um, well, if I open chess base, I'll, I might actually show like a name of a of a database, and that would, might leak something. So if we look at this picture, wow, this looks this guy looks pretty young here, doesn't he? This guy looks pretty young. Um, anyway, let's go to the rating chart. Um, let's cross this out. Okay, let's look at Benjamin. Benjamin was born in 1995 as well. Okay, so starts in 2007. So this is 12 years old, 2135. Again, same thing. 12, 13, 14. Uh, if you're 2100, that's generally about the range you need to be to become like 2600 plus. Okay, starts off with a downturn, which is kind of interesting from July to October. 2135, 2116. Big gap up to 20, 2360 in 2009. Dips, then he gaps again. Gets up to about 2500 in 2011, which would put him at 16. 2500 at 16, very, very good. Goes down a little bit, but keeps improving steadily. And then by the time 2014, by the time he is 19 years old, he is 2605. Hmm, look familiar? Um, so 19 is 2605. I think Benjamin tried to play chess for another couple of years. I don't think he went to college right away. Well, he definitely didn't because he's only graduating now, which is, it is 2022. So he's 27, so that means probably around 20... He's been he's been in college like four years, so 2018, which would mean 23. So Benjamin tries to play. Benjamin is a little bit different. He doesn't actually go to college at 19. He tries to play and improve. Um, so he plays doesn't really doesn't really start out very well. This is a, this is definitely a temporary peak. Hits this wall here, goes down, comes back up, and in this position around 2016, 
was it 2016 or 17 he goes to college someone knows when he went to college uh because I don't know exactly gets back to 26 13 this double top right here dips again can't break the line of resistance goes up down goes up to 26 21 and then I think somewhere around here in 2018 he actually has a new peak at 26 40 and he goes to college here now again very very tough for Benjamin because at this point he's 20 23 years old in 2018 has to make a decision is he going to try to play chess professionally here hope that he breaks through or is he going to go to college now if I look at his chart it's probably the right decision in a way to go to college because even if he has a big breakthrough in the next two or three years maybe 2700 is doable but again he has the, he has you know double top around 26 uh 26 um 26 13 gets to 26 40 and from here is he going to break out and you know, gap up to 2800 kind of difficult to see kind of difficult to see that happening so he goes to college flat lines here probably the probably the chance of 2700 here probably gone forever most likely for Benjamin but again as you see uh he definitely he definitely tried though I will give him big props because he, he tried to improve he tried to improve like he didn't go to college in 2014 which if I look at this graph not knowing not knowing I would say okay guy probably goes to college here and he falls off at 1920 but he took a couple of years off tried to improve um and then in 2018 he, he decides to go to college uh at his peak rating of 2640. now Geary um Geary I think has a very phenomenal chart too where he goes up non-stop uh, if I'm not mistaken I um you missed 1000 elos uh yeah I did myself I showed my graph first actually I, I did show mine um could it be more factors in college maybe it could be like relationships became more serious definitely possible you see it's always somewhere in this age like 19 20 21 which is why uh with Hans I don't think I actually did I don't think I actually showed Hans um if I show Hans for example it's he's in he's in this critical range like 18 9 oh wait did I spell it wrong Neiman okay there we go uh, if I show Hans Neiman for example you'll see a big gap what <laughs> what is this picture by the way I don't I don't know what this picture is but anyway um all right they they definitely have some interesting pictures for some of the players it's the, his profile looks angry his profile yeah that's quite the quite the profile picture Night, nice uh, nice hair yeah definitely um but if I show Hans like you'll see if I go all years uh, let me cross this cross this he doesn't actually he doesn't have like the greatest chart he's born in 2003 so but again 10 years old wow he has this big dip so at 11 years old he's only 1867 which is interesting um 1867 but still 11 years old anything can happen big gap he goes from 1894 straight up to 2300 in that next year from 11 to 12. okay a lot of dips though a lot of dips that you don't see on the other charts like he gets up then he dips up dips and I think that's sort of the sign of someone who definitely is not stable like in in all the other charts you see a very very safe progression up to a point why do I keep seeing this come on um very safe progression upwards you see very very safe progression and then somewhere later there are dips but you don't really see the, the dips at the very beginning in the same way but anyway as we see he he he's sort of stall he stalls out quite a bit here oh geez he stalls out has has a little bit of an improvement in 2018 I don't know what, what, what am I doing wrong why does this keep popping up I guess I literally have to follow this chart I can't click anywhere else on the chart or it pops up 2019 up to 2466 slowly improving has a big dip down in 2019 24 23 and then he's this massive gap up it, it, it looks like it doesn't look as impressive because it's a short short window so it doesn't show but 2484 up to 2638 here so he's up to 2638 and now again that's October 21 and into 2022 he's basically stalled out 2638 2637 October to um to April so last last like seven eight months he is he hasn't improved at all now again he's this is 2003 as you see this is the very critical range Hans 18 19 20. this is the range where again he's either gonna have to break out of the range and improve very quickly like 2700 or most likely you're gonna see the same chart where he stalls out completely um so that's that's why for Hans this is really the critical period like the next year year and a half he has to give it his all and see if he can keep improving or not really really critical for Hans um to try and do his best in the next year year or so really really critical based on all the other charts we looked at it's the exact same thing